Hello everyone. Excuse me, sorry. Goodness. Hello everyone and welcome to Quest for Glory 5. Where uh, it's time for us to go handle the right of peace at long last. Time to go to Atlantis. So, one thing I like is that we can traverse anywhere on the map with the balloon. Um, you know, unlike the fishing boats and stuff like that, there's no limits to where the balloon can go. It can literally go everywhere. So, that's pretty nice, actually. Um, because it can go everywhere, though, we get to come up here to this island. And meet Irana. There she is. Welcome again to my garden. Enjoy a moment of beauty when you can. I know you are very busy. I can tell by your seriousness that something is on your mind. What troubles you so, my friend? I have taken some time to learn more about this place of islands and sea. There is much unhappiness and danger here. It saddens me to know that the beauty of this area is so marred. The ability to breathe water is a simple spell, but it does not last long enough for what you need. Thus, it is better to use an item of magic rather than a spell. In my endless sleep, I too dreamed of you. It gave me great comfort to know that someone was there who cared about me. Atlantis was a land of wizards and users of magic. It sunk into the sea eons ago when by their magics, they released a dragon-like creature of fire and destruction. Some were able to survive by transforming themselves into sea creatures. I have heard that the city is protected by water and by land, though it lies in the depths. All that live there have magic still, and guard their city well. You will need to swim a long time if you are to go to Atlantis. I shall make you a gift. Take this, and you shall breathe the water as if it were air. Send the message of peace with Silmaria. Yay! Amulet of Water Breathing. So, yeah. Equipping that hurts our AC and defense, but it's fine. Don't you even. It's, uh... There it goes. Alexa was listening. <laughs> Luckily, that the Alexa that we have out here is named Echo. So, dang it. <laughs> so, if I, I can say Alexa all I want and she won't go off. But if I say her name, <sighs> seriously, I'm not talking to her. The other thing is, is that you can get off here by taking a boat if you lose your um, thing. Uh, oh yeah, you also, I also have to remove all of my encumbering equipment. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. As long as I'm underwater, I can use nothing more than leather armor. I can equip a shield, but we can equip a spear. Not that I'm going to need it, but I can equip a spear. So, I swear I'm not even going to bother equipping the spear. We're literally not going to need it. So, Sam in the door. The door is made uh, from some sort of dark metal that has been inlaid with gold. It is thick and probably very heavy. There's no discernible locking mechanism on this side of the door. It's only an obvious hinge on the right side. I think you hear a weird sort of breathing on the other side of the door, but the sound is very muffled. No one responds to your knock. You cannot force the doors with your bare hands. You could probably use a crowbar or something as a lever. You attempt to swim backwards and swim rapidly forward until you ram the door with your head, but you think better of it. Now that's using your head. Right. I have to, like... I actually have to use the spear on the door, I think. Yep, there you go. Whoa, hang on. 
Do not want to fight. Do not want to fight. Hang on. Peace spell. Sense of joy and peace surrounds all around you. Enter the blackness of the tunnel. Fortunately, you see that the passageway walls are luminescent, allowing you to find your way. Feel like you've been swimming for miles and miles along an endless passageway. Suddenly, there's a light in the distance, and you quickly make for the exit. <coughs> Detect that you are in dire danger from the defenders of Atlantis. Swim! Swim! That hurts. I don't want to cast peace yet because otherwise, like, these guys won't be affected. I guess. The, this, like, fish up here wouldn't have been affected by it, so. Might actually have to use my spear up here, too. Hey, you guys were affected by it, too. Cool. Go ahead and pull out our spear. Nothing happens. But I don't have it equipped. No? I don't maybe I don't need that. Oh, okay. Dwarves are barred from the inside to prevent entry in times of danger. They obviously consider you to be serious danger. You really think the people of the last would just leave these doors open for you? Hmm, no response. You suppose no one's home. They wouldn't just ignore you, would they? And just force the main doors open? Definite danger here. And the primary source is from the female Triton. Go ahead and cast the peace spell. And I have brought flowers, which I am glad that I didn't use them on Elsa because I completely forgot to bring them. Intruder! Come no farther! You have proven yourself powerful. <coughs> we will listen to what you say. Remember, though, you are <coughs> numbered, and we have great power, too. I am Hippolyta, Queen of Atlantis. This is my kingdom that you have invaded. Several months back, my people were attacked by ships sailing from the port of Silmaria. Four-legged wizards would cast spells at Tritons, and the sailors cast nets to drag the sea folk to their deaths. We have retaliated by attacking all ships and boats that we can. We avoid harm by staying deep underwater. We will win this war. What right have you to ask us for peace? You air breathers started this war by attacking us. As long as the blood of my people is shed by yours, there will be no peace. You are a hero in many lands, and you now seek the end to this war? How do I know that your words are not lies? Well, I mean, I have this ring. I have not met one like you. You speak words of peace, and there is strength behind your speech. But you are only one man. How can you assure this peace and prevent the air breathers from attacking us again? A paladin is bound by honor. Oh, cool. Very well. Then you must find the one who caused this war and bring him to justice. Only then can there be lasting peace between our people. Your head of the statue is a symbol of peace. There shall be peace between those of the land and ourselves. Go now, ye who should be king. Send word of the peace between us and the war that awaits us all. We're escorted out of Atlantis by the Tritons. Yay! And now we can swim up. And all of the land is now available to us via boat as well. As well as balloons. So that's exciting. <sighs> everywhere is open to us. We can go everywhere and do anything we want now. This is it though. Like we're at the end of the game. <laughs> They really are. Like we are getting there. We are all, we are at the end here, you know. Yeah, you can see now why I didn't want to go. 
um, you know, when it was, uh, when I was a champion. So, hey, look, we have no armor on again. For the first time in a long time, we see William without his armor on. And now I will immediately throw all of my armor on again. Put my armband on, or no, my amulet. Uh, helmet, shield, we're good. We have everything. Time to sleep. <coughs> sleep eight hours. I think it would wake us up too early if I didn't. I think it would wake us up before basically eight, so... All right, let's uh, get a meal and then we'll head off to the Hall of Kings. I don't know why I do these like big grand motions when I don't have a camera to so you guys can see it. <laughs> like I just like pointed into the sky like, you know, that classic like, here we go, you know anime thing, you know? That they do. So. I'm really hoping I didn't mess up with Elsa. If I did, I will have to save. Or, well, I'll have to load. Go back, do all that stuff again, come back to this point. Um, shouldn't be too hard. But, it will be annoying to do all that. Let's go ahead and drop off our money in the bank as we will no longer have any need for it. Because um, we have 20 of every potion and we are about to head into the end game. Will the series have more episodes than Quest for Glory 2, which currently has the most episodes out of any Quest for Glory game on my channel? I have no idea. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> oh. I had, I actually did have 8,000. Dang it! I had 8,000 in the bank! I had 8,000 after that. I wish that I could have had, but I, uh, I wish I could have done it. I wish I could have done it. Oh well. Whatever. Let's go ahead and take our peace statue. And show it to the guard. And say, symbol of peace. You have completed the rite of peace. All will be summoned shortly. Oh, crap. Hey, I forgot about this. I forgot to do this. You are accused of drugging the wizards Erasmus and Chakra and attempting to drug others. What have you to say of this? I forgot. I have harmed no one. I have merely attempted to make certain that those pesky perverters of reality who call themselves wizards do not interfere with this contest. This was done to make certain that science should prevail over such nonsensical sorcery. This kingdom must be ruled by reason, not magical quackery. You do not deny that you and God are directly involved with drugging the wizards? Of course not. I'm a perfectly honest person. Very well. By your own words, Dr. Pretorius, you have convicted yourself of the crime of distributing illegal drugs. Gort, you too are accused of being an accomplice, an accessory to this crime. You are disqualified from the rights of rulership. No! You can't disqualify Gort! I protest! Science must rule! This is not fair! You are fools, all of you, to believe that neutralizing magicians is some sort of crime. They perpetrate the crime of altering reality. Why don't you convict them? We scientists deserve to rule this misbegotten little kingdom. Only we can show the world the way to the future. Only we can destroy the superstitious sorcerers and let technology triumph. We will overcome the occult. Science rules. Take them away. So yeah. Dr. Pretorius and Dr. Mobius are the same person. The Atlantis have pledged their alliance with Silmaria. Our boats will again be able to sail without fear of attack from the Tritons of the Sea. Our harbor will again be safe for free trade. 
The Prince of Shapir went into the depths of the sea. He found Atlantis and brought forth the symbol of peace between our lands and people. Thus ends the right of peace. Don't worry, we'll go back and uh, get that cutscene with Pretorius and Mobius and Gort. By tradition, there have always been seven rights of rulership. The quests have always been of the highest importance to the kingdom. The last of these quests is always the most critical. This is the final right of rulership. Our kingdom has been terrorized by an assassin. Our king, our citizens, and our comrades have fallen to his poisonous blade. He must be stopped. However, an assassin is but a tool. Mercenaries invading our countryside are but a tool. Inciting war between the Tritons and Silmaria too somehow ties into our present situation. It is not a coincidence that all these events have occurred now. You will seek out the cause of all these events. You will find the one person responsible for these terrible deeds. You will make that person pay for all the death and destruction he has brought to Silmaria. This is the right of justice. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let's go fix the fact that we missed a cutscene because luckily this game likes to let us do that. Uh, current standings in the rights. William and Elsa. Gort has been officially disqualified from this competition. The dragon pillar near the Pegasus Nest has been destroyed. Only the dragon pillar near the dragon blood pool remains intact. Primary suspect is the assassin of King Justinian as a huge reward for his capture. Peace with Atlantis. With the successful completion of the Rite of Peace, a treaty has been made with the Tritons of the sunken city of Atlantis. Waters of the Med are again safe for boats and fishermen. The final rite begins. Competitors must find the assassin of King Justinian, bring him to justice, and discover the plot behind the destruction of Samaria. This is the right of justice. Dr. Pretorius, also known as Dr. Mobius, has been arrested on charge of drugging the wizard Erasmus and Chakra. The scientist is also charged with attempting to interfere with the rights of rulership. So yeah, Dr. Pretorius, Dr. Mobius, they have a sort of Jekyll and Hyde type thing going on. So, and if you wonder, wait a minute, how the heck did William know all of that and get them in trouble and yada yada. Eh, I forgot to go see that cutscene. But luckily, <laughs> uh, again, this game is pretty forgiving and tends to let you go back and do cutscenes that you haven't previously done, despite them being completely out of order timeline-wise. So let's head off to Science Island and get that cutscene real quick. Um, I need... I actually need to get my Force Bolt spell out. And then I absolutely need to remember that when Elsa comes in this time, I have to do everything with her. Make sure that I get her interested. I have to propose. I have to do it before I talk to her because I didn't realize that you couldn't exit out once you got to that point. Time to hit myself. Oh no! I actually avoided hitting myself. Awesome. <laughs> you can hear it bounce off the, the edge of the screen all the way over here. Luckily, the Force Bolt spell does break eventually, so it doesn't just keep bouncing around forever. Pass through the opening into the Science Institute. Here we go. Hmm. Dr. Pretorius slash Mobius is not here. Hmm. Gord, it's not up there. I'm doing this as if it was, you know, right six because this is, we've gone back in time now. Basically, 
Enter the access code. I believe it was P I C Z A. You should not have done that. You are not yet mentally prepared for the marvels that science reveals within its secret lab. Please go away. Hello, Dr. Pretorius. <coughs> Tall man is strangely proportioned and has an odd complexion. The fluid would look a lot scarier if it weren't cotton candy flavored. This is no laughing matter. Dr. Pretorius seems somehow more sinister and cruel than the pleasantly crazy simple servant of science that you once thought him to be. I was just doing some minor adjustments on Gort. He was starting to act a bit heroic, and that would be most unwise. Science should be cautious, not foolhardy. Gort is now completely waterproof. He should have no problem seeking Atlantis, assuming that it exists, of course. Science shall rule Silmaria whether Silmaria wishes it or not. Too long it has suffered from superstitious poppycock under the domination of the so-called wizards. With those charlatans properly drugged, we scientists will reign supreme. <laughs> yep. Some people might object to having a reanimated dead creature for a king. However, Gort shall be guided by my scientific genius, and such superstitious prejudice shall be eliminated. You have not yet proved yourself worthy of the knowledge of this laboratory. Kindly forget that you have seen this. By the way, try not to mention the fact that Gort isn't quite human. Some people just won't understand. It shall be our little secret. Oh, and that bit about the drugged wizards? Forget you heard that. Why don't you? That's a good lad. There we go. Now we got the cutscene. And with that, that would be when William would go to the... Hall of Kings, let uh, Logos know about the drug and that they drugged the wizards and thus you get the cutscene that you would have gotten before. With that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Um, so I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so that you can get caught up on any episodes that you might have missed. And I'll see you guys next time for the Rite of Justice. See you later.